Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be the Sephora Play unboxing. I was so happy to go to my mailbox and see this in there today. It was life changing, what can I say? But if you want to see what I got in this month's box, then just keep on watching. Alright, so I'm just going to get out some handy scissors and go ahead and cut into this bad boy. So this is what the inside of the box looks like this month. You have the card in there as always and this tells you what all is in this box. Let's see, what is this bag? Oh, so this is the bag. Hopefully you can see that. It just says play all over it and it looks like we got quite a few little goodies so let's see what all there is. I'm going to go ahead and open this up just in case we have any questions. Let's dive in, shall we? Alright, the first thing in here is by Grand Lips. It says it's a hydrating lip plumper. Ooh. I have a problem with lip plumpers sometimes. I think they sting a whole lot. I mean, I know they kind of have to, but ooh, I don't know about it. It says that you can apply to clean, dry lips, wear alone, or layer under other lip products for best results used twice daily. I am wearing a little bit of lipstick right now because I just filmed a uh, sweatproof makeup tutorial. So I don't know if this will go up before that, but make sure to check that out. I'm just going to go ahead and wipe this lipstick off and we'll give this bad boy a try. Alright. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. I just hope it doesn't tingle too bad. No tingling yet, but we'll give it a few seconds. We shall see. It smells amazing though. Alright, up next we have this Traystick highlighting stick. Um, it says on bare skin before applying foundation or over tinted moisturizer, draw across the cheekbones, bridge of the nose, brow bones, and inner and outer corners of eyelids and dab onto the cupid's bow to blend. Just pat gently with your fingertips. Clearly we already have on a full face so we can't do that but what we can do is put it on our hand and see what it looks like. So here we go with that. Whoa baby. That's really pretty. And it's not too much. It's actually really nice once blended out. I mean you could leave it as too much I guess if you wanted to but if you blend it out it's actually really pretty. Alright, let's go ahead and smell some of this perfume. This one is called It Takes Tulip to Tango. Um, and it's a floral fragrance family. And let's see what it smells like. I'm typically more of a sweet smelling perfume lover. Or sometimes even like, I don't know. What kind of scent is that? Spicy? I guess I like those kind of scents. Florally can be pretty too though. So let's see what we think of this one. I'm trying to think. I either like it a whole lot or I don't like it at all. I'm not. The longer it sits there, the better it smells. It smells like it's got a uh, fruit. What is that fruit? It doesn't smell like anything I've ever smelled before, but I don't know. Let me rephrase that. It doesn't smell like any perfume I've ever smelled before. There is a smell mixed in this perfume that I've definitely smelled before. And I like it. I think I actually really, really like that one. Alright, that's cool. Alright, up next we have a face mask. This is the Resurfacing Mask by... Tata? I don't know how to say that name. Tata Harper, maybe? I'm probably butchering that. Please don't hate me if I just butchered that. I'm so sorry. We'll have to try that. We might try that one out together. Alright, up next we have a Christophe Robin. Maybe that's how you say that name. But it's a cleansing purifying scrub with sea salt. And it says that it can be used as a daily shampoo. Or a weekly detox treatment for oily hair and dandruff or a post coloring treatment to soothe itchiness. Simply apply a tablespoon amount like you would a regular shampoo and pay particular attention to the massaging of the scalp. Add water to lather and rinse and follow with conditioner. 
Wow, I, I definitely thought this was a body scrub. That is so cool. It's for your hair. Huh. I definitely did not see that one coming. This stuff is starting to tingle a little bit. It's not anything uncomfortable like other ones that I've tried, but it is a little bit tingly, so I don't know if you're into tingly lips, but this one's starting to tingle a bit. All right, the last thing in here is by Milk Makeup, and it's their Blur Stick. I am very excited about this. I have heard so many great things about this and cannot wait to try it. This will definitely be one that we try together on camera because I'm so excited about this right now. I'm half tempted to go take all my makeup off just so I can film using this. I'm not going to because I have somewhere to go, but I, I would in a heartbeat. Um, it says to apply you swipe it all over the face and blend can be worn alone but works best as a primer for foundation or tinted moisturizer oh my gosh I'm excited about this I cannot wait to use this oh man oh man oh man alright so let's talk about exciting products so I'm definitely as you can see most excited for this guy right here I cannot wait to use it um, ecstatic over the moon <laughs> so happy to have this next i would say i'm probably happy about this like i cannot wait to use this i love a good highlight i cannot wait to try this out on my face these products i'm telling you pretty much everything here could be used in a video like everything this perfume was actually the bomb i'm very excited about this perfume i know i've said very excited a lot but this perfume is actually really really nice a lot of times when i get samples in these bags of perfume i end up putting them up somewhere and then if i use them it's very rare because i have my typical scents that i go for but this will be one that will definitely get emptied i love this this threw me off <laughs> this threw me off completely and I cannot wait to use it as you can see or maybe not see I recently colored my hair again I just put a toner on it yesterday it's still a little bit more golden than I would like for it to be but we'll just tone it again later on maybe that'll take care of it maybe I'll just wait until it's time to highlight it again but this really threw me off and I can't wait to use it either and then this scares me <laughs> this scares me really bad i've never used a peel before um it may not be anything i may be just being a big baby but just the idea of i've seen a lot of scary stuff with chemical peels and i don't know if i'm just trying to relate that to this but it does scare me a little bit i'm still gonna try it i'm still excited i'm just gonna do a little bit more research on it first before i do use it but i can't wait to use it at the same time just for clear skin because I don't know if you can see it it may be poking through my foundation it may have covered it today but I have a little pimple right here that is in the process of healing and I can still somewhat see it through my foundation and then this guy down here oh my gosh I cannot get it to go away it has been there for months like it it's a scar that just won't go away usually whenever I take out pimples or pop pimples or whatever the scar not scar but once it's done it might take two weeks and it will fade out this thing has stayed it has not went anywhere and it's really getting on my nerves but yeah i'm excited for everything that i got in my sephora play box this month thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and always be you until next time i'll see you later bye